Hey everyone, it's Eagle of Zeus here, and today I want to talk more about Artemis's aspect of uh, being a goddess of hunting. I know I did talk about it a bit in my um, experiences with Artemis video, but I kind of wanted to go into more detail about that because, as I mentioned in that video, that was an aspect of her that I just didn't connect with when I first uh, became a Hellenic polytheist. I really struggled connecting with her because of that aspect because I am vegan so I don't connect with hunting and stuff like that um, but now that I do connect with her and everything and I've thought more about that aspect I just wanted to like talk more about it like discuss it I guess um, so yeah Artemis is a goddess of hunting and um, it honestly I mean even though, like I said, I am vegan, but I know how important hunting is to some areas of the world. I mean, like, if you live in a really, like, urban area, obviously you don't need to hunt for food and survival. You can just go to the grocery store and buy food. But if you live in really, like, rural, um, like, wilderness areas, like some areas of Alaska and um, Greenland and other, like, places that are really remote, they, they really need hunting to survive. I mean, that's like a food source, an important food source for a lot of people in, uh, really rural areas. And also, um, our early ancestors, too, they relied on hunting to survive. So, hunting was, a very important part of human history and our evolution and everything. And I do acknowledge that. I mean, like today, I mean, I have a choice to be vegan, but my ancestors really didn't. They had to eat meat. They had to eat animals to survive. And I wouldn't be here and we all wouldn't be here without our ancestors. So I do think that hunting is important and it is part of who Artemis is as a goddess. She is associated with hunting, so um, I definitely don't think we should try and erase that aspect of her. Um, and another thing is other animals hunt, like like predators, like lions, wolves, sharks, <laughs> uh, predatory animals hunt. So I think that she's a goddess of those animals too, and I also think as the protector of animals, she's also a goddess of prey animals as well. I mean, actually, like, two of her main animals are the deer and the wolf. So I really think that she represents a balance between predator and prey. She is a goddess of the hunt, so she aids the predators, but she also protects the prey because sometimes the prey get away. Actually, a lot of times, a lot of times the prey animals get away and the predators aren't successful. So... I do think that she's like a balance between predator and prey. So she's definitely an important part of nature and hunting is an important part of nature, not just for humans. Um, and another thing is, and this is something I talked about in my experiences with Artemis video, is that, um, that I also view her as being a, a hunter of like evil um, that she, like, hunts evil, because, like I mentioned in that video, there's, um, in the Homeric hymn, there's a line that says that she's a destroyer of beasts, and I view that as, as her being, like, a destroyer of evil. So, yeah, I definitely, I also view her being a goddess of, of hunting, and kind of, like, in a, I guess, a metaphorical way, too, not, like, literally hunting, but also, like, kind of, like I said, like, in a metaphorical way, like, she's a goddess of, like, hunting, uh, evil, and actually Apollon is the averter of evil, so they kind of go along together, The Artemis is the destroyer of evil, the hunter of evil, and Apollon is the averter of evil, he averts evil, so I do think that they go together with those, um, they go together with that, um, and yeah, so I think that's about it. Um, I just, like I said, kind of wanted to um, discuss it more deeply. So...
yeah. <laughs> um, that's it for this video. So I will see you guys in the next video. And may the gods bless you all. Bye.